Good morning, it's Daniel. And Jenny. And Talia. And we are here to celebrate Jenny's birthday at Plaza Inn Character Brunch. This is a really great option here in Disneyland Park if you are looking to start off your day with something really special and get a full meal and see lots of characters. This is our first time eating at Plaza Inn since last year, but this is our first time eating since the health restrictions have been lifted. So we're excited to see what that's like. Let's have fun breakfast. Here we go up to the check-in desk for breakfast in the park with Minnie and friends at Plaza Inn. So the way this works is you check in at that front wagon and then you wait in line to take a photo pass photo with Minnie Mouse. And then after that you pay. If you don't want to wait for your photo with Minnie, you can just go straight up to the restaurant's main entrance and pay there and get seated. All right, it's our turn to take a picture with Minnie. Bye, thank you, Minnie. All right, so we've been seated. We've taken our picture with Minnie. Just so everyone does know, the pricing for the buffet is $41 for adults and $24 for kids. And you do get magic key discounts or any other discounts if you're eligible for them. We're gonna go get food in a second, so we'll give you a quick tour of the buffet and then show you what we've got. Don't forget to grab a tray before you head up to the buffet line. Here is what they have. There are assorted muffins, and pastries on the top here in the center station there's jello and assorted fruit the other side has some more pastries and some more fruit and granola so that's a nice option here here is the center station on the far side here they have oatmeal bananas foster and your mini waffles and french toast. The other side has eggs, cheesy eggs, potatoes, bacon, biscuits, sausage, fried chicken, gravy for on top of your biscuits, and then the other center station has the same stuff. The station on the side has an omelet bar where you can get ham, sausage, bacon, onions, mushrooms, cheese, spinach, tomato, bell pepper, or mushrooms. There you can see all of the toppings. Everything looks really good over here. Next to the omelet station, you'll find the drink station. So there's coffee, tea, classic sodas, milk and chocolate milk, as well as different juices. Looks like orange juice and apple juice. You'll also find butter and cream over here. And then closer to the exits, you'll find some cereal. So today they have Fruit Loops, Frosted Flakes, and Rice Krispies. And this is also where you will get your utensils. And then they have napkins and more condiments, salt, pepper, ketchup, Tabasco, things like that over here. The other side has the same items. So they still have your cereal over here. And this is also where you will find another drink station. Lastly, I didn't point this out before, but you get your syrup here at the cereal area as well. It says syrup and powdered sugar. I don't see powdered sugar. I just see the syrup, but there's little cups for your syrup as well. All right, we are back with our first round of food. We got a little bit of everything to share. We have some bacon, some sausage, scrambled eggs, potatoes, a biscuit, French toast, and most importantly, we have some Mickey waffles. But actually, today, they're mini waffles. And we also got some syrup on the side, and I also got some cereal, some chocolates, and some chocolate milk. All right, so I just picked up my food. I got biscuit and gravy, some fried chicken, some bacon, there's some sausage underneath there, and I got their 
country scramble, which I believe has egg, bacon, and sausage all mixed into it. Everything looks really, really good. I did want to get an omelet, but the line was about 15 people deep, and they only have one person making one omelet at a time. So while that sounded really good, uh, definitely wasn't something I wanted to wait for. So this is uh, still pretty good looking, and I'm excited to dive in and eat it. All right, so I've tried most of the things on the buffet line that I was interested in, and the country potatoes were really delicious. The scrambled eggs were fresh. They have biscuits here, which are really good too. They're just thick and hearty. They do have a gravy that you can get with it as well, but I got mine plain. French toast is delicious. And most exciting is the mini waffles that they only offer here. And they also offer a banana foster sauce that is supposed to be for French toast, but I really like to dip the waffles in it. And it gives it a nice extra caramel and banana flavor. really good the sauce is just it's so good it's sweet and rich and buttery and then the waffles are nice and crispy and fluffy so both really good choices definitely recommend getting these when you come to Plaza Inn my food was really good my frosted flakes were good and well my sausage and bacon was good my Mickey waffles were good and then I haven't tried the French toast yet but my guess is it's gonna be good and the Mickey waffles probably taste, tastes even better than with syrup and the french toast also probably tastes better with syrup. So I'm gonna give my food a try. Here is the, uh, here are the country eggs. And you can see it's eggs with some cheese and some sausage and some bacon. Let's give it a try, I'm sure it's really good. That's really nice, it's almost like getting an omelet without having to wait for it. Here's a sausage that got some of the gravy on it. So that was really good too. This is a really good sausage. It doesn't really need the gravy. Um, it's got plenty of flavor on its own. One of the nice things about this is that it comes with the fried chicken. So this is the same fried chicken they serve at dinner time, I think. It looks the same and it looks really good. We've had it before at dinner and it's delicious. So let's give it a try right now. That is incredible. So crispy, so juicy. I truly do think this is the best fried chicken around. Give the bacon a quick try. Also very good. You can't go wrong with bacon. Last but not least, let's give the biscuit and gravy a try. That's also really good. So everything on my plate is really good. The biscuit and gravy is nice because it's a, a good buttery biscuit. The gravy is a nice peppery country gravy that goes really well with it. They asked me if I wanted to put the gravy on the chicken as well, and I said no just because that gets a little messy to pick up and eat, but that seems like it would be a really good option as well to get uh, gravy on your chicken. So overall, everything I've had is a big A+, plus, delicious, can't go wrong with any of the stuff here, and the characters are coming around now. Good morning. You glad that Pluto gets a special holiday outfit? Oh, and he's got a hat too. That's so festive. <laughs> okay. Do you want to take a picture with Pluto? Okay, hold on. Let me take it on my phone. Sorry. Hold then. Hold then. <laughs> okay, now I'm ready. Well, you gotta fix this snowflake. Can you fix this snowflake? I got backwards. All right, teamwork. <laughs> Good job. All right, thank you so much, Pluto. <laughs> oh, nice hugs. Thank you, Pluto. Do you want to take a nice picture with Tigger? <laughs> Wait, you gotta come over here, sweetheart. <laughs> there you go. All right. Cheese. Very nice. 
Thank you, Tigger. You want to say anything else? Hi, Bob. Oh, okay. All right. That's my birthday today. Thank you. I'll be jumping for joy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Tigger. Bye, Bye Tigger. <laughs> Hi, Susie. How are you? She likes your sweatshirt. <laughs> you want to twirl? You turn. Oh, nice. Can you take a picture? Sure. Okay. <laughs> nice job, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Hi Chip, how you doing? Good to see ya. They're all uh, getting food, they were hungry. Well, I'm still eating. Yeah, I, I took too much food, but I'm still gonna try and finish it. No, I didn't take too much food. Gotta take more food. They won't run out, huh? No? <laughs> you made it? What's your favorite? You like the waffles? They're pretty delicious. Well, thanks for stopping by. Hi, Dale. Would you like to join me for some food? That one's actually, that's not her. Here, let me turn that one on. We found Dale. He's hungry, he's gonna sit down and join us for some food. What's your favorite? Chip said the same thing. You copying Chip or is he copying you? You, you first? Of course, always Dale first. Dale number one. Please take, I can get more. They, they told me they won't run out. <laughs> Are we going? We're gonna go get more food? All right, let's go. <laughs> Thanks, Dale. Hello. <laughs> is a good color. It looks beautiful. <laughs> okay, do you want to take a picture? Okay. Hey, geez. Good job. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Alright. Thank you. Right. Thank you. We have finished up our delicious breakfast here at the Plaza Inn and we wanted to share our final thoughts with you. Everything was really good. The buffet had endless food, but it also wasn't the biggest variety of all the buffets at the Disneyland Resort. But in our opinion, this restaurant has the most popular, most common breakfast foods and it has enough variety that you'll find something for everyone in your group. The character interactions were really nice. They did their little parade where they marched around all the tables every so often and then they actually came and interacted with each table individually. So the characters, you got one-on-one -on -one interactions with them, which was nice compared to the past during the health restriction times where they just would walk by the tables quickly and you wouldn't really get to interact with them much. So the characters, when they come by the table individually, they will do hugs, they will take photos, they will sign autographs, they will do all of the standard things that you expect from a character interaction here at the Disney parks. The pricing, as I think we already talked about, was uh, fairly reasonable for what it was. And this actually, I think, is the most affordable of the uh, character breakfasts that you can have. 
Um, I think the, the other ones, I think Storytellers and Goofy's Kitchen are quite a bit more than this one. It might be unexpected that you can find the least expensive one inside one of the theme parks. The other thing that's really special about the character breakfast at the Plaza Inn is that they have a variety of characters every single time. So the last time we visited, we had some of the same characters, but not exactly the same. They had a few different ones, and in the past, they've kind of been known for having rare or unusual characters here. So you never know who you'll see and who you'll meet. And it was kind of a fun added bonus that some of the characters had their special winter costumes on as well. Minnie is the one consistent uh, character that's here because it's her breakfast and she does not walk around or interact at the tables but you do get a nice interaction with her when you check in and that nice photo pass photo which is included whether or not you have genie plus or photo pass included with your ticket or magic key we highly recommend coming to the plaza inn if you are rope dropping and making a reservation for about 10 10 30 or even as late as 11 a.m that way you can come into the morning get all your big rides done, have a nice brush in the morning, and then when you're ready to sit down and eat and take a little rest, this is a great place to do that. Plus, since it's all you can eat, you can really get as much as you want. Let us know in the comments down below what you'd like to know about this restaurant or other restaurants here at the Disneyland Resort. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps us out. Please subscribe for even more magical content, including more character dining reviews and lots of holiday content coming up and we hope we put you in a magical mood.